One of the questions I keep getting asked is why? Why a boxing match? Why would you want to get hit in the face? Why would you want to get into the ring and put it all on the line? Well, to understand the why, you first really need to understand our commitment to giving back. At the Home Loan Expert Office, we don't just talk about giving back, we live it. We are constantly looking for ways to raise dollars and awareness for local charitable organizations. And it goes beyond just writing checks. We like to create these huge events that really draw attention to what we're doing so that the charities get the recognition and the awareness that they need. We've climbed mountains to help raise money for the fight against childhood cancer. We've been part of events that have raised several hundred thousands of dollars to grant wishes. We've shown our commitment to first responders by supporting the people that put their lives in the line to protect us every day. At the Home Loan Expert Office, giving back isn't just something we talk about, it's in our blood. When the idea of a charity boxing match came up, I'll be honest, I was scared. And it wasn't just a charity boxing match, it was a title fight where I would be boxing with somebody who had won their previous fight and currently had the belt. But the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to do it. Not because I like to box, but because it scared me and it took me out of my comfort zone. And it gave me a good sense of what it's like to fight for something you want so bad. Once the details of the fight were set, I started training. I already work out about three days a week and stay in pretty good physical shape, but I had zero boxing experience. I hooked up with boxing legend Harold Petty and we went to work. I kept my normal workout routine going, but I added two days in the boxing gym, training, jumping rope, hitting the mitts, and a few sparring matches. The boxing training was intense, but it was fun. I learned a lot with Harold helping me in preparing for the fight. During training, I did several radio interviews, giving updates on the training and talking about the charities. The charities were always on my mind and helped me stay focused. The day of the fight, I tried to keep everything somewhat normal. I was in my office working like a normal day, but the excitement was building. I left the office around three o'clock and I headed down to Cardinal Glennon Hospital to hang out with one of my good friends, Alec Ingram. He's 14 years old, battling his second round of cancer. Hanging out with Alec helped me to get my mind right and focus on the reason that I was fighting later that night. I left the hospital, headed home to get ready, but I was running way behind. When I got home, it was crazy. There were people at my house. I never got a minute to rest. We all ate dinner, jumped in the car, and we headed down to the event. When I pulled up, there were hundreds of people cheering in the street and it hit me. This is real. I'm really about ready to get in the ring and box with an opponent that had been doing the similar training and did nothing more than to win. How did I stay focused? I thought about Catherine Cares. I thought about Three Little Birds for Life. I thought about friends of kids with cancer and what it meant to them for me to get in the ring and raise the dollars and awareness that we've been doing for so long. When the bell rang, my opponent came right at me, swinging lefts and rights, and it was real. We went all five rounds during the fight, and I won by decision, but I wasn't really the winner that night. Although I now have the belt, and I now can say that I've been in a boxing match and raised a lot of money, the charities are really who won. I would like everybody to learn a little bit more about three incredible organizations that are very close to my heart. Friends of Kids with Cancer, Catherine Cares, and Three Little Birds for Life. Friends of Kids with Cancer is an incredible organization ran by my good friend Judy. Catherine Cares by the Turleys. Their mission is to take care and help families who have lost their child either during pregnancy or during labor. And Three Little Birds for Life, they help grant wishes for the 18 to 40 year olds with a strong emphasis on that college age child. 
I guess the big question is, will there be another fight? Will we get into the ring again, put the brand on the line, go through all the training to raise money for charitable organizations? And I'll tell you, I think we will. Our mountain climb was such a success, we do it every year. And I would love to see the boxing tournament grow into something even bigger than it was and continue to raise dollars and awareness for organizations throughout the community. Thank you so much for watching and thank you very much for all your donations and for following all the work that we do.